gonna teach you how to use and how to get familiar with Google Calendar. This is for general virtual assistants and for newbies who wanted to understand kung paano mag-organize ng mga meetings and ayun, mga kung ano-ano pang pwedeng ma-discover sa Google Calendar. <clears throat> so first, um, let me show you ang left pane natin, which is the left part. Okay? So, pag kinlik ko itong pangatlo, makikita itong tatlong bar. Ayan, makikita nyo yung left pane which is the monthly calendar, okay, search tab, calendars, and other calendars. So, mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo yung features ng mga to, and bakit ba sila importante. So, right now, you're seeing my current schedule for the month of February, okay? Sa upper part naman, may kita nyo yung today button. So, in case kasi nandito ka, or napunta ka dito, tapos kailangan mo bumalik sa today, so, babalik ka lang sa, babalik ka lang niya sa current date ngayon. And then this is um, moving from the previous month and going to the next month, the current month and year search. Okay, kung may kailangan kang isearch, uh, support, and then settings, and then month. This is the view. Okay, pwede mo siyang i-view per day. For example, this is your schedule for today. And then this is your schedule for the week. Ayan, yan ang aking schedule for the week. Schedule for the month. Ayan. We can click on year, ayan, and then schedule, ayan yung mga nakaschedule, so planner talaga siya, okay, and then we have four days, ayan, so in four days, ito yung mga mayayari, okay, um, balik tayo sa month. So, yun yung nandun sa upper part. I'm sorry for the dogs. <laughs> and then, here are the Google Apps. Okay? Ayan. Pwede kayong pumunta dyan. Pero, we're not gonna use the Google Apps. And then, of course, kung ano account yung naka-sign in. So, this is my personal email. Nakita nyo na. <laughs> okay, we have Keep. Keep is um, um, owned by Google wherein you can take notes. So, kung sa mga Samsung phone nyo, meron kayong notes app. So, sa Google, meron din. Uh, this is cloud-based, so you can add your notes there. Okay? And then, you can also add tasks. Yung mga tasks are your to-dos. Okay? Na gusto nyong matapos. Ganyan. So, those are my tasks, my personal tasks, na hindi ko pa rin natatapos hanggang ngayon. You can also add schedule from this. Ayan, add time and date, add subtasks. So, pwede nyo siyang gawin sa Google Calendar mismo. I also integrated Zoom on my Google Calendar kasi every time I have an online meeting, ginagawa ko siya via Zoom. Pwede mo rin gamitin yung Hangouts, pero for me kasi mas okay yung Zoom kasi I can record the conversation. Okay? So, you can also add some add-ons, okay, for project management and all. So, hindi ko muna ituturo ito. Okay. So, how can we add or plot event? Event, schedule, or meetings? All you have to do is to click on Create. Okay? Make sure na nandun ka sa date na gagawan mo ng um, schedule. So, for example, this is a test uh, test event. Okay? And I'm going to utilize event. So, babaguhin ko yung oras niya. I'm going to, for example lang mama na, it's 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And I'm going to add the guests. Ibig sabihin, I'm going to add the email address of the people that I'll be talking to. Kung kailangan ko silang kausapin. Kung hindi naman, just leave it blank. Add the location or conferencing, pwede mong gamitin yung Google Hangouts. Pwede mo rin naman gamitin yung Zoom meeting. So, lumalabas yung Zoom meeting kasi, hindi, ka, hindi kasi ako nakalogin eh. Pero kung nakalogin ako, lalabas yan. So, kung nakalagay si Zoom as your add-on, lalabas siya dito. Pero kung hindi naman, Hangouts lang yung lalabas. And then, description, okay, test, Blah, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Okay, and then click save. Okay, okay na tayo doon. So, that's how easy you can um, schedule. Now, paano naman kung magkaiba kayo ng time zone? Paano kung nasa US siya or nasa Australia siya and then nasa Philippines ka? So, I'm gonna teach you how to create another one. Okay, so click again doon sa date. And then, click on more options para lalabas yung full, full screen na siya, okay, test event number 2. <clears throat> so, 
Aanclick ko yung all day kasi may specific time lang naman tayo. We're gonna click on time zone. So, ngayon, nakaklik ako sa Philippine Standard Time. So, I'm going to use separate start and end time zone. Okay. Gamitin natin yung Eastern Australia time, which is Sydney. Ayan. So, syempre, susundin natin yung Sydney time zone. So, pag sinabing 3 p.m., so, that's around 12 noon sa atin. So, 3 to 3.30. Um, lagay natin hangouts. For example, test lang ito. Okay. Okay. And then, pwede kong i-add si curlyunice at gmail.com. That's my other email. <laughs> okay. And then, Click on invite others and see guest list. Kasi kapag inad nyo yung guest list nyo dito, manonotify sila, makaka-receive sila ng email about this event and the time zone. Okay, so when I click save, click send, and then that's it. So napansin nyo, 3pm nilagay ko doon, pero 12pm yung nandito. Why? Because this calendar is following the Philippine Standard Time. So regardless, na 3 p.m. yon that's 3 p.m. Australia time, para di lang nakakalito. And then, it's 12 p.m. my time. Okay? So, I hope malino yun, guys. And, yeah, that's it. So, currently, delete ko na to. <laughs> okay. Send. Alright. Sorry, that that's our my teammates. <laughs> okay, so, ayun lang, and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, on the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can access someone else's calendar, lalo na kung, kung client nyo to. Paano nyo makikita yung calendar ng client nyo and paano magbibigay ng access yung client nyo sa Google Calendar niya so that you can see it. In case that you are not using other third-party calendar application management. Okay? So, we're just using Google Calendar ngayon. Again, thank you so much for watching. This is your admin, Yanis, and have a great day. Bye!